Just a reminder to vote in this week's Locals Poll, where you decide what deck I take to Locals every single week. Without any further ado, I hope you enjoy the video! What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and today we have the deck profile for the deck we took to Locals this past week, being Madolce. We got first place, so it was really nice to be back uh, at our home shop. We haven't been there in a couple weeks due to uh, just things going on in personal life. Uh, good things. Good things going on in personal life. And then uh, just uh, having, having a uh, conflict with work and everything. But we were able to go back this past week. We got first place. It was a really sweet time, pun fully intended. Here's a deck, or here's a look at what the deck looks like on paper. Then we'll get to the card by card. All right, so starting off with the monsters, I'm running two copies of Madolce Pudding Sis. So this one is largely going to be a target that you pull out of the deck. Uh, there are a couple of cards that get bonus effects when using Madolce Pudding Sis. Uh, so like there's one that has a bonus effect if Pudding Sis is on your field. There's an Xyz monster that gets a bonus effect if it has Pudding Sess as material. So it's just a really nice way to ensure that you can still pull it out of the deck even if you draw one. That's why I run two. So that way if we happen to draw one, we can still have one in the deck to pull out with things like Petting Sessor or some of our other, other cards. Uh, next is Madolce Messengelato. So running three of this guy. Uh, so basically, and all of the, um, I actually forgot to mention this with Pudding Sess, but all of the Madolches have a mandatory effect that when they're destroyed, they shuffle themselves back from the graveyard into the deck. So they, all the main deck Madolches have this just for reference, so I'm not going to reference it again when explaining what the cards do. Just know that all the main deck ones have that. This one's unique effect is when it's special summoned while you control a Madolce beast type monster, you get to search for a Madolce spell or trap, and that is not once per turn. So there are plenty of ways you can really, really use that to your advantage. Next, three copies of Madolce Petting Sessor. Uh, this is one of your starter cards for sure. Uh, while you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon her from your hand, and when she's special summoned, you get Spell Summon of a Dolce Monster from your hand or deck that's not named Petting Sessor, and then reduce its level by one. So this is really nice for pulling the Madolce Pudding Sess out of the deck because she's level five. Pull her out of the deck with Petting Sessor, she becomes level four, you get to go into rank four plays. Next is three copies of Madolce Magellene. So uh, this one... Uh, when it's normal summon, it searches a monster. That's basically all it does. It just searches a Madolce monster. And uh, very similar to uh, Messenger Lotto, that effect is not once per turn. So if you can somehow loop it, you can really get good advantage off of that. Next, three copies of Madolce and Jelly. Uh, this one can also serve as a starter. Uh, it's it's typically better if you start with Petting Sessor and then you normal summon this, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So basically, you can tribute this card to special summon a Madolce monster from your deck, and it can't be destroyed by battle. So basically, one of the best things to do is to tribute this to special summon the next monster that we're gonna talk about, being Madolce Hoot Cake. We play three copies of Hoot Cake. But basically, you tribute the Angeli, special summon this, then you activate this one's effect to banish the Angeli from your graveyard, and then you can special summon, like, say, for example, Messengelato from your deck. So yeah, Hoot Cake is really good to go into. Um, also running three copies of Madolce Mewfwheel, I think is how you say that. Uh, I'm running three currently, but I think I'm actually going to change this one, the third copy, to a copy of, and if I remember, I'll put it on screen, to run include one copy of Madolce Chevalier. So that way, it's just another Madolce name, and there are also things where 
if our opponent just has one monster, we can force them to attack the Chevalier through its effect instead. So, yeah, I think I'm going to cut Mewfwheel down to two and put one Chevalier. But uh, for the deck, that I for the version I took to Locals, I ran three, but I think I'm going to cut it down to two in the future just to kind of experiment with it. Because there were a couple hands where I drew double Mewfwheel, so that didn't feel good, and I feel like it's because I ran three of them. So I'm going to cut that one down to two for Chevalier. Uh, next... We're going to move on to the spells. And the first spell that we're going to talk about is the continuous spell, Madolce Salon. So this card does two things. So during your main phase, you get to special summon, or not special, you get to normal summon a second Madolce. It's not an activated effect, it's just a, like a granted effect. It does The effect to normal summon doesn't start a chain. And then if a Madolce card or cards you control either on your field or in your graveyard is added to your hand or shuffled into your main deck by a card effect, which is, you know, again, all of the main deck Madolce monsters, they shuffle themselves back into the deck when they were destroyed, you get to set a Madolce spell or trap from your deck. Now, unfortunately, it cannot be, if it's a trap card, it cannot be activated that turn. But it's really good to get some of the other spells. So, so you, you're getting an additional resource for the deck doing its mechanic, and you get a second normal summon. That's really nice. And one such card that you can set off of that is one of your three copies of Madolce Ticket. So this one... and Oh, and then another thing. Uh, the effects of Ticket and Salon when a card is shuffled... That is mandatory. Okay, those are mandatory. So, just want to put that out there. Oh, this deck has a lot of mandatory effects. So, one of a Dolce card is returned from your side of the field or your graveyard to either your hand or main deck. Th then you get to add a Madolce monster from your deck to your hand, or if you control a fairy type Madolce monster, you can special summon it instead. So this is a good way to get things uh, during both players' turns. Just keep getting those monsters in rotation. You know, getting things like Messenger Lotto to get even more resources into your hand. You can do things uh, like with uh, the Chevalier I'm going to add in to redirect attacks. Things of that nature. So it's just a really nice little, little card there. Uh, next, I'm running three copies of the field spell, which is Madolce Chateau. Uh, and so the reason Ticket says added to your hand or main deck by card effect is because Chateau actually gives you the opportunity to, instead of returning them to the deck, you can actually add it to your hand instead. Uh, usually, if it's during my, like during my turn, I'll put it uh, back in the deck. But if it's my opponent's turn, depending on what the monster is, I'll put it into my hand so that way I can uh, just use it the next turn. I mean, it just kind of comes, you know, it, and that's a, kind of a thing you learn. You kind of learn to read how the duel is going with this deck and decide whether you want to add it to your hand or put it into the deck. It just, you know, it's kind of at your discretion. It's one of those things that you just kind of learn how to navigate as you duel more and more with this deck. Uh, when it's activated, it shuffles all Madolce monsters from your graveyard into the deck, which, of course, can help trigger things like Ticket and Salon, things of that nature. And then it also gives your Madolces a 500 attack and defense boost, which is really nice. Uh, so that's actually it for the uh, Madolce spells. Uh, going to some of the generic spells, we have a Terraforming to search the field spell, of course. One Monster Reborn, because, you know, Exist Materials, they go into the graveyard, and then this can help extend some of your plays. I'm running one Reasoning, because there are a few different levels. There's like, there's like a level 5, a bunch of level 4s, a few level 3s, so just having that potential to uh, get a free Special Summon is always nice. Then it also works as Ash Bait. And then, at the very worst, even if this goes in the graveyard, you can just activate this and shuffle it back. 
So, and then we're also running one call by the grave to combat hand traps because a very well placed ash can really hurt this deck. So having call by the grave in order to uh, combat the hand traps is really really nice. And next, going on to the trap cards. So first, we're gonna go with two copies of Madolce Dessert. So basically, you target two effect monsters on the field. All right, so one of them has to be a Madolce monster. So basically, one monster you control and one monster your opponent controls. They get bounced back to the hand or extra deck. And then you can special summon a Madolce from your hand or extra deck whose attack is less than or equal to the combined original attack of the monsters bounced to activate this card. So basically, it's just a way to uh, disrupt your opponent, and you can also get more resources. So like, say, bouncing back something like a Messenger Lotto, and then special summoning it back with the Desserts effect to get an additional search of a spell or trap is really nice. So yeah, interruption and potential resource gaining. I'm also going to go ahead and talk about Madolce Promenade here. So this one is kind of like an, an archetype imperm. So you target a face-up card your opponent controls and a Madolce that's either you control or is in your graveyard. You negate your opponent's card and then return the monster that you targeted, uh, your monster, to the hand. And so that can, of course, proc some of the things like Ticket and Salon, things of that nature. And then I'm talking about both of these together because they not only provide interruption for your opponent and can get your resources based on like what spells you have on the field, but they both also have an effect that can attach something to an Xyz monster. Uh, this one, you can banish it to target an Xyz monster and attach any Medulsion from your hand deck or graveyard to it as material. And then this one... It can be attached to an Ixie's Monstrous material when a uh, card is shuffled from your graveyard into the deck. So just being able to fuel your Ixie's Monsters for even longer. And then finally, rounding out the main deck, we have three copies of Madolce Knights. This is a counter trap. So basically, when a monster effect is activated while you have no monsters in your graveyard, you negate the activation. And then, if you control Madolce Pudding Cess, you get to shuffle a random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. And this is not once per turn, mind you. The activation is not once per turn. So just being able to not only disrupt your opponent, but then also being able to disrupt their hand potentially is very, very nice. So um, yeah, that's going to do it for the main deck. Now let's go to the extra deck. All right, so starting off with the main deck, I'm running two copies of Madolce Fresh Sistart. So it just takes two Madolches to make. Uh, while this card points to a Madolche monster, it protects your spells and traps from being uh, destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is really nice. And then if this would be destroyed, then you can shuffle a Madolche monster from your graveyard into the deck instead, which can, of course, trigger your things. It's just really nice being able to not only protect itself, but also your other resources. And it's pretty easy to make as well. I'm also running three, co or excuse me, two copies of the new Link 3, Madolce Mini Meow Caroons. Okay, now, I really like this card, not only because, because it's a good card, but because the artwork is absolutely adorable. I love cats anyway, but like, especially this little one here, he looks so happy. But... But yeah, so uh, when it's Link Summoned, you get to add any Madolce card from your deck to your hand, which is pretty nice. And then you can target a monster in your graveyard, special summon a Madolce from your hand, and if you do, shuffle the monster in your graveyard back into the deck, which can, of course, proc some of your effects like Salon and Ticket, things of that nature. And then, uh, basically, after you do that, you just can't activate any non Madolce monster effects, but in this deck, that's not going to, that's not going to, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, next, moving on to the Xyz monsters, I am running two Madolce Teacher Glass Souffle. Uh, so basically, as a quick effect, you can detach material from this card, target a Madolce monster on the field. This turn, it's unaffected by 
other monster effects except for its own. So this is good for like if your opponent's going to try to, say, activate Nibiru on you, then you can uh, use this to protect your, like say, your Tiramisu from being nibiru -ed. And then this one, uh, if a, it also has a second effect, if a Medulce card sent to your graveyard while this is on the field, you can shuffle up to two graveyard cards into the decks. Uh, so basically this just kind of helps to trigger Salon. It's mainly for the protection effect. It doesn't come up that often though, but it, it, it is nice to have in case you need it. Next, of course, is the main Xyz monster you're summoning, Madolce Queen Tiramisu. So once per turn, you can detach a material from this card, then target up to two Madolce cards in your graveyard, shuffle those cards into the deck, and then also after that, shuffle cards your opponent controls into the deck up to the number of Madolce cards returned. So basically, you get to sh shuffle back stuff from your graveyard, which will give you stuff from like Ticket, Salon, stuff like that, and you get to non-target remove stuff on your opponent's field. Okay, that's really, really nice. Now, I will say, for this, the way it, that is ruled, I'm assuming is because of the wording, but the way it is ruled, you have to already have a Modolce card in your graveyard before you can detach the material. So it, it's usually going to be something like one of your spells or traps. So you have to have a Modolce card already in your graveyard before you can detach. I didn't make the rules, that's just how it's ruled, that's how it is online and everything when I would play on the simulators, so that's just how it is. Next is probably my favorite of the Xyz monsters, Madolce Pudding Cess Chocolate a la Mode. So we're running three, and so basically you can just slap this on top of a Tiramisu, or really any of the Madolce Xyz monsters, but typically you're going to be using Tiramisu. Oh, and also, fun fact... Tiramisu is not once per turn, so if you can summon multiple Tiramisu, you can use it multiple times in a turn. But so, basically, it has two effects. Uh, the first one is you can target a Madolce card in your graveyard and shuffle it into the deck. Now, while it has Madolce Pudding Cess as material, this is one of those bonus effects I was talking about. You can detach a material to special summon a Madolce monster from your deck. So you can just really just keep on extending and just keep going and going and going. So yeah, this deck is really, really fun for that reason. And then finally, rounding out the extra deck, we have three copies of the new Madolce Queen Tiara phrase. So of course, uh, this, the Mini Meowcaroons, and then like the, uh, the Madolce Dessert. Those are all from Infinite Forbidden because we took it for the Infinite Forbidden special. And uh, we ended up doing a really good job with it. So, but yeah, so basically, you can just slap this on top of a Tiramisu. Th this one has to be Tiramisu, though. You have to use Tiramisu as material for this one. And then, uh, basically, it's the exact same effect, except that Tiramisu is only during your turn, whereas Tira Phrase is only during your opponent's turn. So it, it has the exact same thing, except Tierra Phrase is once per opponent's turn. So you use Tierra Masu during your turn and Tierra Phrase during your opponent's turn in order to disrupt them. Like the actual effect of what it does is the exact same. It just, it's just a matter of when you can activate it. And then the whole, you have to already have a Madolce card in your graveyard thing still applies but uh yeah that's it for the deck profile i hope you enjoyed it this deck is really fun to play and it actually did a really really good job i mean obviously you know first place at locals that's really really good you know really fun so so yeah like subscribe vote in the locals poll all that good stuff and i'll see you next time